Hi guys, David here from MaxionCinema.com, martial arts action cinema. We're here today to chat with Mortal Kombat star Max Huang, who plays um, Kung Lao. Uh, okay, cool, man. Nice to see you. Dude, thank uh, you. finally talking to you, man. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for your time, man. It's been, uh, you know, we had we had this organized way back, but we finally get to do it, right? <laughs> no, I know. It's, it took us a while, but now we're here. It's great. Well, um, for those who, you know, unfamiliar with your background can you you know briefly tell us a bit about how you started off your your career with the you know the legendary Jackie Chan stunt team oh yeah man well that goes way back um to uh 2010 actually in Berlin when I got the chance to meet Jackie at the premiere of karate the karate kit oh okay. well um I was actually just uh starting out as a stuntman and um yeah, I was just pretty nervous to 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 meet, go and see him and meet him. But um, that wasn't the case because he was just surrounded by so many bodyguards, and uh, there were like three, four thousand fans surrounding him. So uh, I prepared a demo reel, oh. uh, and I handed it to Jaden Smith, the other actor, son of Will Smith. Mm -hmm. And um, this kid looked at me, and uh, he he took the the DVD, and um, he went off and uh, one month later I uh, received an email from Jackie Chan's stunt team coordinator asking me if I um, would like to join uh, the next film because uh, Jackie has seen my stuff and he really liked what he's seen so wow that's incredible yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's uh, everything in a, in a nutshell basically so, uh, so really uh, you know really thank to uh, Jaden Smith huh <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he handed yeah, it off over to, to Jack. I know. Jaden, <laughs> see this? You made it happen. Awesome, man. So um, what was your first reaction when you, you know, landed the role of Kung Lao in Mortal Kombat? It must be something crazy, huh? You know, it was kind of similar to when I got the chance to join the Jay-Z stunt team, because mm -hmm. that was um, a very similar feeling of excitement. Um, I always wanted to be an actor, so... I made a choice at some point in my life that I wanted to pursue a career in acting and more shift away from the stunt side of, of things. And um, yeah, I flew to LA and uh, I, I got very lucky to um, convince uh, a big management company um, to, to, to sign me basically. And uh, next thing uh, I knew, uh, I got the casting for Kung Lao and um, it didn't work out in the beginning because they um, they thought I I might not quite fit the part for I was auditioning for Liu Kang actually oh okay <laughs> the other character <laughs> yeah and so and so life went on and um, two months later I I got a call and they said they they found me again in um, within all the audition tapes uh, and then the director um rewatched my my tape because Kung Lao was the last character they were casting and oh. um and so I got the job and um yeah and it was a uh, emotional roller coaster because uh when I got the call they told me okay tomorrow you have to fly to New Zealand to try on the hat and then uh the next thing you go to Sydney meet the director and and so on and so on so everything went super fast and um uh yeah it, it was amazing that's a, that's incredible man um and so you know ha having a background in in you know stunt work and all that did you have um any input into the fight scenes in the uh, mortal Kombat? uh yeah they actually allowed me to choreograph my own fights um but i have to um give props to the stunt team and the stunt coordinator especially kyle gardner and uh chan griffin who was a fight coordinator um, so they were very like um, um, open and uh, they would let me have input, give mm -hmm. input. Yeah. Cool, cool. So um, how would you <laughs> describe your, um, your transition from, you know, because mostly doing stunts and behind the scenes stuff to you know, performing mm -hmm. in front of the camera now as a full on actor, you know, did, did mm -hmm. you find it difficult or anything like that? Uh, not so much that it's more difficult, but it's just a different um, job, you know, it's mm -hmm. a different career. And um, 
you know, for um, a long time in my life, I love to do stunts and stunt performing, doubling other actors and doing all of that. Um, so I have a lot of respect for uh, stuntmen and stunt people. And I hope one day there will be an Oscar, Oscar for, for stunt people. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. That, that's, that's really long overdue. <laughs> yeah, I know. But um, no, I think it's more of a decision making, you know, where you want to go. And um, I always wanted to, you know, kind of do the same thing that, that my idols like Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, Jet Li, what they are doing. So that was my dream to one day eventually get a chance to also star in movies. So yeah, that's um, the motivation behind it. And um, I started out as um, a stuntman and and I, I trained martial arts because I wanted to eventually uh, progress to becoming a martial arts actor, to have a very strong background and an understanding of filmmaking, um, you know, also including camera work, editing, the whole process, and to become a more uh, all around filmmaker. So that was the idea. Yeah. Cool, cool. So, um, you know, from from looking at you know the cast, um, social media posts, you know throughout production and all that stuff, it look, really looks like you guys uh, form like such a tight bond. Um, yeah. Can you tell us, you know, uh, your your experience, you know, filming with these guys and like Joe, Luke, Lewis, and Ludi and the rest of the cast? Sure. Uh, I mean, I have to say they're all amazing people as well as actors. So um, it was a blast hanging with them on set and off set. You know, I mean, we would really become friends and um we're still in touch you know um so and i learned a lot of from them because some of them have been in the business for like two or three decades already and um yeah they're all so nice and humble at the same time they i didn't feel any kind of feeling of you know competition or any like um neg negativity um at the time so yeah it was really a nice working environment and like I say, they, they're all super talented, like actors as well as martial artists. Right. For example, Joe Taslam, you know, he's been in the raid and um, Tadanobu Asano from Japan. He's like a megastar over there. And of course, Hiroyuki Sanada, Ludi Lin, Legend, Jessica, yeah. <laughs> Josh Lawson, you know. So, yeah, they all brought their own kind of um, specialty to the film. Cool. So, um, you know, since since the film has been out already, I guess we could dive into some spoilers. I mean, um, obviously your character Kung Lao bit the dust with uh, Shang Tsung, you know, you know, sucked out your soul. <laughs> but 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 as we know, with these type of films, these type of, you know, video game and comic book films, stuff like that, characters don't always stay dead. So is there any chance you know Kung Lao might be back or maybe perhaps like a, like a spinoff with you and Ludi uh, like a MK Shaolin Monk spinoff or something like that maybe I don't know <laughs> yeah I mean I, I wish you know um I have the same hopes so uh, at the moment there's nothing official yet no official announcement but um I think we're doing pretty good at the box office and right now the movie I think yesterday has been released in Japan Mm -hmm. and uh it's doing well over there as well so uh yeah i think we cracked the 100 million box office mark so that's a good sign and it's going well on hbo max too so mm -hmm. yeah i mean like i said nothing official but um did you uh did, did, you, did you sign any multi-picture deal or anything like that <laughs> well i know joe mentioned right uh -huh. um, all over the internet that Joe yeah. signed multiple picture deal. Uh, I think we all did. I mean, uh -huh. I did. Okay. I did. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's what I can say at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. That's that's good enough for the fans. <laughs> yeah. What would you say is your favorite um uh, fatality from 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 the film? Well, I don't want to be bragging, but I think Kung Lao has uh, right. <laughs> Pretty cool one, um, but there are many others. I mean, uh, Jax has a an epic one, and then there's Ludi with the fire dragon, which I enjoyed. Yeah, I think there's multiple that I that I like. Were Were you a fan of the um of the video game before before uh, joining the the film? Yeah, um, 
but um, I also seen the film from 95, back in 95. So um, yeah, it was a pretty nostalgic moment to rewatch it before we started filming. Uh, I wanted to kind of get some inspiration out of that. And uh, yeah, overall, I'm a pretty big fan of Mortal Kombat. I mean, who isn't? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's pretty cool because the original uh, Mortal Kombat didn't have, you know, Kung Lao. So it's cool, mm -hmm. cool that you're playing like a new character in the, like, you know, the, the, the movie universe. So, you know. Yeah, that's true. I mean, um, we've seen Kung Lao in like TV series, mm -hmm. TV shows. And um, um, I think all of the previous actors who portrayed him did a really great job. Mm -hmm. But we never seen Kung Lao on like the very big screen, right? So. Right. For me, that was another dream come true. Um, I felt um, probably a little less pressure than the other actors who had to fill those big shoe steps from the 95 movie. Right. Um, because other actors have portrayed their characters already. Um, so um, yeah, it was a fun experience. I mean, at the same time, I felt kind of having more freedom, you know, because mm -hmm. I felt I was more able to um, form the character the way I thought it would be, like the way I thought it would be. Great. Cool. Right. Yeah. So I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, because because your character is fresh, so they didn't, you know, fans <laughs> didn't didn't you know have to always think about comparing it to the original. You know. So exactly. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So how's your, um, have your life changed, by the way? Because this is your first you know, big, big actor um, debut and, you know, mm -hmm. your, your, your face is all over the, the, the marketing and everything. Um, has your life changed since the uh, well, MVP's release? People, people like you are suddenly calling me now. So yes, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's an honor to be on your show, man. Thank you. For no, no, me. no, thank, thank you. So, yeah, I, I think it, um, you know, for me, there couldn't be any better start in, in Hollywood than being in a film like Mortal Kombat because it, on one hand, does have the quality of a big budget Hollywood movie. At the same time, we're featuring a lot of martial arts. So it's the perfect combination and um, yeah, the perfect project that I could have ever asked for. And I think what will happen from here, um, I'm not sure yet, but uh, things are looking good so yeah pretty positive yeah i mean um we've checked out some of your um some, some of your action short that that you made um uh -huh. you know, yeah. awesome work man awesome stuff <laughs> thank you i appreciate it man yeah yeah, yeah I mean, that was uh, a while back when um actually the reason why i started to do my own um short films also as a director was because i wasn't given the chance to start any bigger film mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, that was kind of the only option to create stuff myself and then uh, you know create something um, with uh, the knowledge I had at that time mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah that's incredible man um, did you do you have any um, anything in the pipeline right now that, that you would like to share with the audience um, I mean, um, there's a Jackie Chan movie coming called Snafu with uh, also starring John Cena. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be on Netflix soon, if I'm right. And um, so that's the next thing you're going to see me in. And then uh, for the future, there are a couple projects, but um, nothing I can talk about at this stage. So, OK, okay. So, um, so Sna Snafu, is it, was that originally called Project Extraction by any chance? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we shot that in China, Yinchuan, like in basically 80% of it in the desert. And mm -hmm. uh, it's probably when you see it, it's gonna remind you of kind of Mad Max um, kind of movie style. Um, cool. And uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was a blast. I mean, John Cena is like one of the nicest actors I've ever had the chance to work with. And so he has such a, an amazing work ethic. Um, so, him and Jackie, I think, um, I think the the chemistry between them on on camera is gonna be fun to watch. Yeah, 
was it true that because we when when that project first was announced um was, was it true that Sly Stallone was supposed to be in the film instead um and then they got John, John Cena afterwards I'm not 100 percent sure but I think that's what it was mm -hmm. yeah because we heard like you know Jackie and Sly always talked about working together but the, it, there was never a, a right project for them to come together yeah I would still love to see that to be honest I mean they're both legends so they should they should make a movie definitely before they get right. into all yeah right I mean um I, I mean we've heard we've heard reports and stuff like that I don't know if it's you no know, firm or anything but we've heard like Sly has been inviting Jackie to to hop on board like an Expendables four or something like that mm -hmm. but but you know it, it, it's it's uh because it, but Expendables is more of like an ensemble you know type of film um. I think it'll, it'll be cool if, you know, Sly and Jackie would do something like, you know, um, Snafu, you know, so they have mm -hmm. some more screen time with each other. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Right. Or Sly could join us in a, another Mortal Kombat movie as a Rambo cameo. <laughs> right, right, right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, so for Snafu, um, what's your... Mm -hmm. um, what's your position on the film like are you the actor or the stunt worker i think we shot that uh, 2018 or 19 oh, okay. so back then i was still uh working as a stunt coordinator uh, assistant stunt coordinator on that project okay. um my mentor uh, his name is he Jun, and he's like uh, uh most of the time like the team leader of the jc team so mm -hmm. he called me to to join the project and um and so, yeah, I was originally just um, the assistant stunt coordinator and I performed uh, a couple of stunts on the show as well. But then um, for some reason, they, they, they gave me a role to, it's, it's just a small part, mm -hmm. um, but it was still fun to, to work with them. Um, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, so you said it's, it's coming to Netflix? That's what I heard again, mm -hmm. rumors. Okay. But, uh, yeah okay so maybe at the maybe at the end of the year possibly maybe maybe mm -hmm. mm. Cool, man cool um yeah. yeah so we're um so so uh grateful for you to you know take your time out of your day to uh join us today and um you know we're wishing you the best in all your future projects and uh especially we're looking forward to snafu and maybe some future mk more mk spin-offs or sequels and um thank you so much max for your time Thank you, David, man. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you for your support. Yeah, take care. Bye. Thank you.